Good morning students, we are going to learn about the language or types of language. So different types of language only we are going to learn about. Last class we have learned about the definition of language. So the genes are being without undergoing recombination, it is being transferred to the uh, next generation. Or it can be F1, F2 and F3 generation. Every genes are being transferred from the parents to the offspring without undergoing recombination is called as language. So in today's class we will learn about the different types of language. So there are a lot of hypotheses that is coupling and repulsive hypothesis that we have already dealt with. Then Morgan, Morgan has found out in Drosophila the language has been studied based upon the those, uh, the character like uh, eye color and uh, the length of the wings okay so there are different other hypotheses or other theories that has been formulated in order to understand those uh, features of linkage that is chromosome theory of linkage by Morgan and Caffrey okay chromosome theory of linkage so chromosome theory of linkage was proposed by Morgan and our Cancer. Okay, so this is the two people. So, what they are saying? What are the features or salient features of linkage? So, that can be a question. What are the salient features of linkage? The genes should be the, the genes that are showing uh, linkage should be in same chromosome. Hope you know that a distantly pair. If suppose this is a uh, chromosome, here you can see the genes, right? If they are distantly placed, the crossing over percentage will be more and the linkage strength will be less, okay? So, the genes are arranged in linear fashion, in line, okay? The genes are arranged one upon the other like a segmented fashion, okay? So, this is the linkage of genes are linear. So, this is a fa this is a feature of linkage, okay? So, now of these points, first point, they are situated on same chromosome. Second point is they are arranged in linear function. So, I have already discussed the distance between the main genes. They are inversely proportional to strength of the linkage. Okay, if I draw a chromosome like this and if I keep two genes distantly placed, so what happened to their strength? The strength get will be least strength or the strength will be inverse. Okay, so there is a, if the genes distance increases, the strength will be lesser. Okay, so that is the condition. So, linked genes remain in their original combination during course of inheritance. That is what, from F1 generation, F2 generation, the genes are being transported as in that, in original combination. Okay, so these are some of the, these are some of the uh, features of linkage. Okay, Fe features of I hope uh, this is clear. Now we are going to discuss about cis and trans. Okay, cis arrangement and trans arrangement. What is cis arrangement? So you can see that the alleles are like this. Capital A, capital B, small a, small b. So this is almost similar, right? The alphabets are similar. Dominant strength are seen together and the uh, cis strains are seen together. But what about trans? Trans means there is transfer. Both recessive and dominant straight are seen together. Okay? Dominant is capital A, recessive is small b. So recessive and the dominant uh, straight um, uh, alleles are seen together. But what about cis arrangement? Cis arrangement you can see this uh, dominant are paired together. You can see a diagram here. See a diagram over here. That is, so this is the arrangement. So, this arrangement means what? Dominants are seen together. Okay? Dominant species are seen together. Recessive species are seen together. But in trans arrangement, transfer, transfer arrangement, you can see both dominant and recessive strain in the same chromosome itself. Okay? That is the arrangement of trans and cis arrangement. Clear? So, there are a lot of examples that you can understand linkage. So, in linkage, there is no any independent assortment. It is a deviation of Mendelian law. Okay, now today we are going to learn about types of linkage. What are the different types of linkage? The first one is complete linkage. Okay, complete linkage. 
So depending upon the presence or absence of no combination or non-parental combination, the genes can be of two types. There is no any combination or no any uh, no combination. It can be recombination that taking place. So we will discuss more. Okay. So what is complete language? In complete language, if two or more characters are inherited together, if there is if this is a chromosome, here you can see two genes. Two or more, if there is three genes, they are completely taken up uh, or completely you can see in two or more generation in original or parental combination. So this is called as complete language. That means what? You can see the genes of the parent, genes of the parental combination in the next generation in the offspring. So it's the same thing you can see it in the your Parental, uh, the parental genes can be seen completely in your offspring. From not, not, not only in one generation, two or more generation. Okay, so the parental genes are seen as intact. The parental the genes are seen as intact for subsequent generation. So they look almost similar to parents. Okay, they they the genes are not. They do not produce non parent They do not produce non parent So understand. So if you have a linked gene, what is linked gene? The gene that is intact. They are been inherited to the offsprings in the same form. Okay. So this is they. They have to be the genes has to be seen in the same chromosome. Remember, they, the genes has to be for complete linkage. Uh, so for complete linkage, the genes has to be located in the same chromosome. Okay. So understand that. Now we are going to deal with what? Incomplete linkage. Okay. Now we are going to deal with incomplete linkage. What is incomplete linkage? So incomplete linkage means what? Only the uh, 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 linkage in which the genes which produce some percent of non parental combination. So if you have a gene like this, if you have a chromosome with genes, the genes are arranged in linear fashion. Okay. So genes are arranged in linear fashion. So only some of the okay, only some of the genes has have been transported to the has been transported to the offspring. So uh, what about the remaining genes? They are non-parental. That is non-parental means what? This genes has undergone an accidental or occasional breakage due to crossing over. So, if if you have capital A and small a gene, so capital A, uh, small a gene, capital B and small b gene. This is a parent. But in your offspring, no? In your offspring, you you got this is offspring. In the offspring, you got capital A, okay, capital A, small b, okay, small b, small a, and capital B. Like this combination, you got that means from the parental, you got non-parental. That means the arrangement of genes is different. That means there is closing order has taken place. Even though the genes are linked, the offspring got what? Known parental combination. This is the parental combination. Capital A, capital B, small a, small b is parental combination. Non parental means what? Capital A. There is a mixing. So that uh, how the mixing occurs by closing order. So this is the basic understanding. Okay, so this is for complete, complete linkage what happened. The genes is inherited as like the parent. Parental combination can be seen in the offspring. But what about in incomplete linkage? Non-parental combination, the percentage of, you can see some of the, you can see some non-parental combination that is seen in the offspring for generation. That non-parental combination has been formed by the by the 
crossing over or breakthroughs or accidental or occasional breakthroughs of chromosome during crossing over. Crossing over to place. So do you find some ex exception in language? So that is the basic. So here you can see some of the parents, orange color parent and the blue color parent. But here there is no really mixing at all. There is no closing over. So you can see no you can see complete linkage only. You can see the parental combination also. Look at the offspring. These are the offspring, right? These are the offspring. So how the how the offspring look like? It looks like the parent itself. So that is the complete linkage only parental gametes are seen. But for incomplete linkage, you can see closing over. For incomplete only, not for complete, okay? So for incomplete linkage, you can see some non-parental genes also. So when we close any, uh, any parent, if it is a test cross, you can see the ratio as 1 is to 2. Remember that. Okay? For test cross, the um, test cross ratio is normally 1 is to 2. Okay, so, so there is some deviation if the non uh, water uh, independent assortment doesn't take place. Okay, there is a deviation from independent assortment, it can result in linkage. So, linkage, complete linkage, you can see in the offspring, uh, complete set as that of the parent. But for incomplete linkage, offspring is showing what? Offspring is showing non parental genes okay combination because of because of closing over so next topic or next final topic is the significance of linkage what are the significance so linkage play an important role in hybridization and selection program what is this for high for plan building for creating or for making more offsprings okay? you can go for hybridization and selection program, mass selection, pure line selection, all those can be, but this uh, linkage is very much useful. It reduces the chance of recomb recombination of genes, why? Right? Because there is no closing over taking place. For complete linkage, there is no closing over taking place, no? So, you can say that this can reduce, this can reduce the chance of recombination. So, that means you can see the parental character as such in the offspring. Parental character as such in the offspring. So, if this is the parent, you can see the same character in the offspring. So, it reduces the chance of recombination. So, thus this kind of, this kind of uh, closing or this kind of linkage property helps to maintain Parental gene, parental color and parental other characters. So this will be very useful for plant and animal breeders. Okay. So for this reason plant and animal breeders find it difficult to combine various characters. So if the plant is showing complete linkage, you will get only parental characters. So if the breeders want to do the uh, hybridization, you can see only the parental character. So, if the, parent, if the parent is disease uh, sensitive, then the same character can be seen in the offspring also. So, it can again cause the reduction in the yield of plants. So, you won't get good quality plants. But uh, there is a positive and negative side also for linkage. So, linkage is complete linkage, you can see only parental character. But for incomplete linkage, there is an advantage. There is recombination taking place, so that can be transferred completely to the all strings. Okay? So these are the basic understanding of complete and incomplete language. Types of language. What are the different types of language? Okay? What is the significance of language? What are the features of language? These three points we have so far discussed. Cis and trans arrangements. How the genes are arranged? If it is say in dominant dominant, it is called as cis. If it is dominant and recessive, it is called as trans. Okay, so these are the features of what features of language. There are, there are other theories also for language along with com, uh, what, uh, coupling and repulsion. You can see chromosome theory of language also. What are the features of language is very important. 
so this is why we have this piece thank you